Okay, so I'm just wanting to demonstrate here how I'm setting up an external instrument. I've recently purchased a used Alesis QSR sound module. It supports um, up to 16 different instruments at once, obviously MIDI, um, with um, 64 voices, you know, at most. Uh, and um, what I've done is um, in my audio connections, I have set up um, this instrument as an external instrument. I'm not linking any MIDI device. Um, that seemed to be problematic when I tried to do that. I'm just setting it up so that the main inputs, which are on um, 15 and 16 here on my audio interface, and then the auxiliary inputs, which I have yet to really figure out, but those are also going into two separate inputs on my audio interface. Um, additionally, I've got my main stereo out, but I've also added an, uh, an output called synth audio, which is a stereo left and right, and I've got it not connected to any kind of interface. It's just there to use as a kind of bus. Uh, we'll get to that in a moment. Um, I've just got my normal inputs, which are everything else. So that, that's all for that. Um, I've added the QSR as an external instrument through the rack configuration, which is off the screen here, but it's there. And of course, this is the rack instrument here, which caused this instrument track to show up under VST Instruments releases QSR. Um, now, um, what I'm doing <clears throat> is um, I've got um, four different mini tracks that I've done ahead of time here. Um, if I unmute one of these, uh, if I play, I think we won't we won't hear it. Now there's nothing being heard. That's because what I've done is on an audio track that's separate, um, I've got four audio tracks to correspond to the four here. The reason I'm doing this in the first place is that with VST instruments that are like plugins, I'm used to being able to go to the edit menu and then render in place. I've got Cubase Pro, by the way, not Artist or Essentials, but Cubase Pro. Um, and so I'm used to being able to just go to render with current settings and then it just automatically plays the MIDI through the instrument, records it, and you know creates a new track for me and, and records it. Unfortunately, with external instruments, you can't do that. So to get around that, this is the approach I'm taking. So um, in each one of my instruments, if I edit the channel settings, uh, which I can do by clicking on this right here, actually, I'll just pull this up here. Um, it lets me choose the source. So that's the reason I added the synth audio, is that by choosing the source is synth audio, I'm not seeing it right now. Yeah. So on all four of these, I've set up, except for this one, I've set up the input as synth audio. Why am I not seeing that? Oh, because it's going to synth audio. Okay, no, I want it to go stereo out. And I want it out. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now all four of these are going out to the stereo output, my main output, but they're all receiving from synth audio. So, um, I'll just mute these for now. So if I monitor this track and then I play this MIDI through my external instrument, which is captured on this track, and that one is routed to synth audio, that's going to allow me to capture this audio into an audio track. So I can just hit record here. And then hit stop once it's done. And now I've effectively captured the audio for that. Great. And now I can do the next one, like so. Now I might want to actually check on the... Um, I might want to check on the actual... Uh, loudness of that. Let's see. Uh, that's not bad. Okay, I definitely, I definitely have turned up the input channel on um, the QSR so that I can make sure I'm capturing it at very loud. You know, a good, good volume, good amount of gain to work with. Um, okay, so now that I'm done with that, I can mute that. Let's see if that worked. Well. Okay, that worked well. Okay, so um, let's.
let's do the next one. So uh, I'm going to capture this one now. Let's just play it really quick. Okay, cool. So. Okay. And then lastly, this one, the fourth. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, something I like to do actually is use group folders. So I think I'm going to create one called MIDI. Uh, actually, let's create one just for like the instrument, at least this QSR. We've got a lot of those going on right now, but this is fine. Okay, so. I'm just going to give it a color. Yeah, red. Red's my favorite color. Okay, so in this folder, I'm going to create another folder and I'm going to call it MIDI. And I'm going to add another folder and I'm going to call it audio. Now, this, yeah. Okay, that didn't quite work. There we go. Okay, so MIDI and audio. So now I can take these four MIDI tracks and I can just move them under here. Uh, I guess I could, like, instead of muting them, I could just disable them. It's, you know, especially that, that is what render in place typically does, is it disables the tracks after it's rendered them down. But I can always unlock them and work with them now. And uh, I can take these four audio tracks and move them under the audio. And there we have it. We've got four events that have been rendered to audio <coughs> and if I want to I can play that back now and kind of mix it transport window showing here but this is good enough okay so there we go um, that's how you can capture the audio uh, from an external instrument and render it down so that you can continue with your workflow without having to do much else of course you would only want to do this if you're sure um, of what you sure you're sure that like you know you're done modifying the MIDI and whatnot and you're you're ready to bring it down into an event thank you bye